Welcome back, this is Yamajack. I'm still bleeding. <laughs> if you didn't see the last episode, uh, go watch the end of it at least. Uh, we're doing Vulture Manor. Alright. <laughs> Ow! I'm still in pain! It was very unpleasant. I'm bleeding. It's not bad enough for me to actually go put a bandage on it. But it's bad enough for me to sit here and be like, Ow! Very unpleasant. Okay, I think I want to be out here. It's right down here, right? Suicidal feels so easy to me at this point, you know? And, uh... Hell on Earth feels so difficult. I want to get to the point where Hell on Earth isn't necessarily easy. But it's not something that is super hard. So I don't think we're going to be making the move permanently to Hell on Earth in this uh, week. As I initially said we were going to. But, soon... Definitely soon. We've been talking about um, medieval armor in the uh, Discord I'm in. Somebody wants to get like a full set, a full suit made to them. And uh, back in the day, I'm not too into like all this medieval stuff, like Renaissance, blah blah blah. That's not really something I'm too into. But I have a Getting a little bit sidetracked here, but one of the things I love doing is talking to people about the things that they love talking about. You know, it can be something that's utterly uninteresting to me, but just because they're so interested in it, it becomes interesting to me, you know? Like, I love talking to, think to people about things that they're passionate about. Um, so, like, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and stuff for things that I don't have any interest in, but they're so passionate about it that it's just, it's, they make it interesting, you know? If that makes sense. So I have a lot of knowledge of, of, of various things like uh, baseline knowledge of, of a lot of things not enough to be useful for most of them but hey it's fine uh, anyway back in the uh, in the medieval days uh, armor would generally be made you'd have your 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 rich boys who are getting you know armor custom made or whatever but um, Largely, armor was made not to order. It was made just to, like, a baseline, like, um, uh, dimensions that were, like, yeah, most people are about this, and then they would just modify the bits that uh, could be changed to make it uh, fit whoever they were selling it to, which is a, a lot cheaper way to do it. But these days, the demand for it is a lot lower, you know, for medieval armor. For some reason, who knows? Can't really can't really figure that one out. But the uh, the demand for it is just so much lower because, um, you know, people aren't wearing armor and going out on like, to, to war or whatever, right? It's not... That's not a thing. You know, the, the armor that you get these days is like Kevlar and, and crap, right? Um, so, they don't, you can't just make, like, a bunch of suits of armor and then just adjust them to, to the person at the time, so you need to actually, um, make it, like, to order for every single one, or, um, you know, people are wearing oversized, or even slightly undersized, god forbid, um, suits of armor that are just not very comfortable not very easy to move around in, you know, not, not, not all in all, not a good suit of armor for the person, right? Because it's not, it doesn't fit them properly. And when, when it comes to something that's that stiff, it really needs to fit you properly or it's going to be a, a whole thing, right? So we're talking about how, uh, 
You're saying that it's going to be like $2,000 or whatever to get one. I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be that cheap to get a suit of armor made for you. Like, he wants not just like a Renaissance reenactment kind of like armor, but one that's actually full plate mail that's made to him that's actually functional as actual plate mail. It's probably a fair bit more expensive than just $2,000 to get one of those made just for you. You know, they don't. you, you can't just go to the store and <laughs> buy a mass-produced version. It's, it's, it's made custom for you, right? So it's going to be quite a bit more expensive. I had a... Uh, don't know if this went in an episode, but I had a customer who came through wearing... Um, Full chainmail in one of the uh, back when I was working in Tim Hortons at the drive-thru. I don't think I uploaded this episode. I'll find out, won't I? It's fine to talk about things that I've already talked about, though. No. Get out of here. It was kind of cool to see. Chainmail's uh, generally a lot cheaper because it doesn't have to fit you perfectly because it's not so stiff. The actual like chain links themselves are stiff, but there's so many of them that it's generally speaking fine, right? It's it's very it molds to your your face anyway. Like you can make a bunch of them, and you don't have to have it like measured and all that. You know? But I'm not sure he wants chain mail or if he wants actual like, plate mail. Uh, anyway, it was, a, it was a cool thing. There's a. Uh, working in the drive thru, there's so many people who come through doing. Harry. You meet a lot of unusual people. I had this one customer who came through with like this basket of puppies in their passenger seat. It was so adorable. We had somebody who brought their actual baby. Like, they just had a baby and they had to get their coffee on the way home from their hospital. Like, you should have more important things to do than that when you just literally gave birth. But okay. A lot of people who came through wearing um, very little clothes. I don't know if I was on camera or something like that, but... I don't really care to, to see that. You get a lot of people who try to, like, annoy you and stuff, too, but th that's the thing. You get so many people who are trying to annoy you that, like, kind of become desensitized to it to a certain extent. Oh, yeah. Good Edar shot right there. So you can't really annoy me in the drive-thru, honestly. Okay. I am, I am immune to being annoyed. Go ahead and try to... Oh my goodness. No, I don't want to fight two of you at the same time right now. I only wanted to take out one of you. I wasn't prepared to take out the other one. I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't sign up for this. I did not agree to these terms and conditions. Where? I heard something over here too. Ah, it was outside. Pull that out here. I don't mind this area too much. So much damage when they're like spinning on you like that. Honestly, the crawlers probably do more damage than the uh, the gore fiends. They're like the most dangerous thing. The crawlers and the stupid stalkers. Oh, I hate them. 
Yeah, let's take him out with a HM Tech pistol. That'll work. Don't switch to your 9mm or anything like that. No, that would be... That'd be weird. That'd be dumb. That's not where I want to be. Can I find a spot that I can, like, walk straight for a bit, please? What happened to you? Did you get unloaded? Did he get unloaded? There we go. Take that, please. Would have been nice to have during that uh, little scrape fight there, but hey, it's okay. Sell that, sell that. Technically could have kept the, uh, the HM tech, but who cares? Who cares? I want to climb this. Please be the Patriarch. Hans is okay, too. Hans ain't too bad. Hans on multiplayer is kind of bad, but even then, not really. I thought you were outside already. I thought he was already outside. And we were gonna have that, like, space to, like, you get out of here. You die. He just, like, teleports to standing up when you, uh, when you get him into the, the, uh, the shielded mode. Easy fight anyway. Hans is a bit of a pushover. Man, my knee's really bleeding. <laughs> it's still bleeding. <laughs> Just pretend it's not. It doesn't hurt anymore, so we're okay, right? That's how it works, I think. Maybe. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works now. <laughs> that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time.